Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, I am going to show some of the best features of a Handy Cafe software, which is particularly uh, created for the cyber cafe or internet cafe owners. So, uh, let me introduce you what are the basic benefits, prime benefits of Handy Cafe software. First of all, uh, the biggest, biggest benefit is that you have got a facility to control the downloading speed of any of your client computers which are in action, which are in operation or either in, uh, inactive at any point of time from the server, from the server, okay. Uh, that means I want to say that हम अपने भारतीय कस्टमर्स के लिए हिंदी में कह रहे हैं कि ये जो हैंडी कैफे सॉफ्टवेयर है सबसे बेहतरीन सॉफ्टवेयर से साइबर कैफे ओनर्स के लिए और इसमें एक बहुत अच्छी फैसिलिटी है जो कि जो कि आप सर्वर पे बैठे बैठे ही अपने किसी भी क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर जो है वर्क स्टेशन है जो कस्टमर यूज़ करते हैं उनके स्पीड को कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं अगर वो इवन यूज़ कर रहे हैं यूज़ में है उस समय भी आप बढ़ा सकते हैं स्पीड जिस स्पीड से वो डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं घटा सकते हैं कुछ भी कर सकते हैं आप एक ये सॉफ्टवेयर से हैंड कैफे सॉफ्टवेयर ये देखिए यहाँ से आए ऑप्शन होते हैं इसके अंदर आपको बढ़ाने घटाने का कितना स्पीड से वो डाउनलोड करेंगे कितना स्पीड से आप इसको एडिट कर सकते हैं बढ़ा घटा सकते हैं किसी भी पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम को सेलेक्ट करके तो ये सॉफ्टवेयर है जिससे कि आप कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं अपने कस्टमर्स को डाउनलोडिंग स्पीड डाउनलोडिंग नहीं डाउनलोडिंग स्पीड को कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं ओके जो कि ये किसी और भी सॉफ्टवेयर में नहीं है साइबर कैफे मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर में सो लेट्स वन अगेन एंड आफ्टर दैट द सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट जो द सेकेंड फैट फैसिलिटी विद दिस सॉफ्टवेयर हैंडी कैफे इज दैट even while on sitting on your server computer you have got a facility to turn on wake up power on or your client pcs let's see here suppose my system number 3 is off if i would click here wake up and log in i need not to go to the client computer to switch on uh, physically the power button i will just click here the soft button wake up and log in it within a second it the, the system number 3 will be in action and will start up okay so the third facility which is uh, here is <coughs> automatic shutdown of the client pc while customer leave the system you can understand yani ki isme ye facility hai ki agar customer aapke apna session khatam karne ke baad uth kar jate hain to automatically aapka jo hai wo client ka computer apne aap band ho jayega jo ki settings yahan pe hote hain tools mein jaake options mein jayenge aap agar yahan pe client mein jaakar aur yahan se time set टाइम अप सेट कर देंगे थ्री मिनट्स तो उस कंप्यूटर जो है आपके वर्कआउट करने के बाद तीन मिनट्स के बाद अपने आप वो बंद हो जाएंगे चौथा फैसिलिटी द फोर्थ वन इज दैट गेट प्रिंट परमिशन ऑन द सर्वर वेन ए कस्टमर ऑन क्लाइंट गिव्स प्रिंट दिस मीन्स दैट एनी ऑफ योर कस्टमर हु आर वर्किंग ऑन द वर्क स्टेशन एंड क्लाइंट कंप्यूटर इफ दे विल गिव अ प्रिंट कमांड फ्रॉम देर वर्क स्टेशन और क्लाइंट यू वुड गेट अ परमिशन ऑन द सर्वर दैट वेदर यू आर विलिंग टू अलाउ द प्रिंट और नॉट ओके सो दिस इज द ग्रेट बेनिफिट्स विच आई विल एलिस्ट्रीड इन अ बेटर मैनर इन द इन द दिस ट्यूटोरियल वन बाई वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस वन so <clears throat> in order to control the downloading speed from the server of your clients you need to download the software of handy cafe it is uh, completely free software widely used worldwide so just uh, open the google right here handy cafe you will get the result like this just click on the download button here you will reach to this page remember uh, there are two softwares which you have to download and both of those software you have to install on the client as well as on the server so first sir, uh, software is uh, handy cafe handy setup v3.exe so click here and download this one after that the second software which you will use is handy cafe filter or you can say handy cafe firewall installation so uh, download these two softwares so once you download this two software okay <coughs> i had downloaded already both both one and both the softwares you have to you need to install on the server as well as on the client right they will just just ask the preference that uh, 
what is this that whether you are installing on this server and this uh, clients. So let's have a look at this. <coughs> Would try first from the server. Uh, this is the handicap set of this one. Uh, this is uh, this one, right? So I will first uh, install this. Click next. Accept the license agreement. After that, click next. It is asking that whether uh, this computer is server or client. Since it is server, so click here and click next, 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 and proceed. Once the ins installation will finish, it will prompt you to register. Okay. Since I, I have already registered, so I am not going to do this again. So once the installation will finish, it will ask you for the username and password to enter. Once you click this button here, you will be prompted to enter a username and password. The username is uh, admin, A-D-M-I-N, in capital letters, and password is password in capital letters. So once you uh, log in with that credentials, you will get to this screen of prompting you to register. So okay, if you are new, new customer, then click here and then that option there. I'm a new, new customer. I want to register. If you click there, you would uh, be uh, to this play, this space. You need to uh, fill up your all the credentials, which what is being asked here. After that, enter your valid email address, confirm email address, and how much clients you are using. Once you submit here, you would get a message of your license agreement and activation product key and serial number right this thing which you have to enter this two credential you have to enter right here okay right here in the registration once you register with the, that credential it will be full version and everything is done but remember this all things will this all computer will not be seen by you till now so what are the extra thing you have to do after that go to the second part of the installation that is a handicap filter i will also go ahead here click on next accept the login license agreement after that also since this is a server i will install here the server and do the next and finish <coughs> once it will finish once the installation will finish, you will get a, an a icon like here, like this. Just double click over here, there. You would see this kind of a screen, but you won't find these all things. These all systems. Since I have configured already, that's why it is showing. So what do you need to do? This is the which you have to do on the server. Apart from this, uh, you also need to configure the IP address on the server as well as on client. So first of all, configure here on the server. Go to control panel. After that, click on, on the network connection, local area connection. After that, uh, click on the internet protocol, uh, properties, and uh, right here, the IP address. I, my IP address is 192.168.1.100 for the server. This is the mandatory condition, okay? This is the thing which you have to remember. Because this IP address, you have to enter in all your client computers in order to uh, handicap a software in order to uh, <coughs> make uh, our your clients know that where is the server so remember uh, put here whatever the address followed by 192.168.1 dot anything uh, and <coughs> remember this because you have to put this all credential on the client handicap a software okay so just remember this after that uh, enter here after that click ok and uh, that's it this is the only thing which you have to these all things you have to do on the server that's it after that uh, next part will be on the client uh, one thing more uh, suppose if uh, handicap filter will ask for your password then create any whatever you will say a five digit or six digit, digit, digit password uh, since in order to uh, make a security that no one could change the settings okay that's it so <coughs> now we will uh, start uh, what we have to do on the client computer take the both of the softwares as well as on, on the client this handicap setup as well as handicap filter one by one 
install both the software. First of all, I would install the Handy Cafe main software. Okay, on the client computer. I'll do the next. I'll do the next. After that, since this is a client, I would select here. This is a client. Do the next. And then next. And next. After that, once installation will uh, finish, it will ask run for Handy Cafe. Do the finish. If you do the finish, it will ask for this kind of things. Since uh, you have to write here admin and, and password is P A W S W O R D. That's it. Then what happened is you have installed your what do you call client on the client. Once you install the client software, this one on uh, the, your client, you get option like this. What you have to do here is that go to the option. This is the most important step. If you won't do this, your computer will not be visible on the server. Go to the option, <coughs> uncheck this button auto, click the IP address of your server computer right here. And remember, that will be the internal IP address which I had shown a moment earlier. My server IP address is 192.168.1.100. I will do okay. That's it. You have to do these all things in. You have to install this uh, software on each of your client computer and, and repeat this process again. It, once you do the thing, it will automatically your computer, your client computer will be automatically shown on your server, right? So that's it. After that, once you do that, you have to also install the Handy Cafe filter software for the clients. This software on the client as well. So I will proceed for this installation. Do the next. Accept the license agreement. Do the next. Click here. Uh, Handy Cafe fil uh, filter client. Do the next. And install it. Okay. Once I will install, automatically all the options will be available on the, to control everything on the computer, uh, server computer. So that's it. What you have to do on the client computer. Now let's get back to the server computer. Okay. Okay. It is damn mandatory to restart all the systems. Okay. In order to uh, as well you restart, I would recommend you to restart your server as well as all of your clients. Uh, once you do that, you on your your server handy cafe, you would see all your client computer here. Uh, <coughs> right. So. <coughs> You can apply all those features uh, by these all things. So first of all, how to, I would say that, how to control the downloading speed. So in order to control, you have to do this. Just uh, click on your Handy Cafe filter server software. If you would cl uh, click there, you will open, you will get all those systems listed here. Mm. After that, uh, other, whether they are active or not, what is the current downloading speed and uploading speed of that system? You, in order to configure it, control it, just go to bandwidth, bandwidth option here. Okay, go to the advanced. You might find all your system listed here. Mm. You don't see, see anything right here. Just click on here and click this button in order to get the system in operation the desired system right here so click each and every and click here it will automatically here click here and click here it will be here so do the same thing repeat for everything once every computer would be here just click on each of your computer uncheck uh, this default one uncheck this uh, default one and you can set whatever the for system one if you want to set 300 200 kbps downloading speed and uploading speed of 100 kbps and apply choose for uh, activate for chosen computer and if you do the okay that will run with that speed right your system number one will do see that similarly if you want to if and every system is live if it is an operation if you want to change the speed if suppose customer is downloading too much you can reduce the speed from here live okay and do the okay that's it so these are the things which you have to do in order to control the speed after that so on the rest of the features how to power on the clients by doing this you can 
uh, if you would click here on login the closed computer it will automatically the system will power on right uh, automatically shut down in order to do this feature you have to just go to your handicap main software and go to the option click here client and set the time limit right here after how much minutes if the customer log out you have to automatically shut down after that the fourth feature uh, in order to get uh, print permission on the server whenever a client com uh, computer uh, give a permission to print you have to go to the tools go to the option go to the printers select the printer and enable print printing and do the ok whenever a uh, printer and uh, a customer print give you a print you would get a here option that whether you have to allow print or not that's it guys and girls if you have any confusion on any further query uh, client kindly write in the comment i would definitely definitely help you at, at my best level don't forget to like or subscribe the video or my, ch my channel because i would uh, try my best i would regularly update the best possible videos for technology and web designing and any of the any other sectors techn technical sectors Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.